Brina says, Kiara, Robin and Laura. The family and I are looking for a few fun trips from Auckland since we can't really go overseas this year. So that's a question from a local. We may as well explore our own country then. What do you guys recommend for a couple with three kids? All right, so fun trips from Auckland for a couple and three kids. Let's pick like three, four, five, maybe something like that. What yeah. do you recommend, Laura? You are stuck in Auckland. Yeah. So let's get started. If you're looking for a family trip, I assume you want to kind of get out of Auckland and yeah, explore a bit of New Zealand and see the real New Zealand. And um, the first real place you can go to is real Middle Earth, which is yeah. Hobbiton. <laughs> real uh, place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. So, yeah, uh, a really cool sort of, you can either do this on your own or there are actually um, tours from Auckland that will will transport and do this whole tour for you. And um, basically you can head to Hobbiton and the Waitomo Caves. Um, it's about a three, two to three hour drive from, well, from central Auckland to get to Hobbiton, which is near the town of Matamata. It's a really awesome place to go with kids um, and anyone who's a fan of the Lord of the Rings or even uh, for the parents that maybe, uh, yeah, if you're into sort of movies and behind the scenes, that sort of thing, then this tour is really awesome to go on. And it only lasts a couple of hours, so at least it's not too long. So, the, you know, the attention spans go. Um, and yeah. it's, yeah, it's really, really good for kids and like families as well. And if you're doing it on your own, you can go there and get a family pass. But there's also um, there's also options to go and actually book tours from Auckland where all the transportation is included. And you can book those through websites like Kluke, which often do sort of like family deals and that sort of thing. So you can get a little bit of money off the Hobbiton trip. But I'm just going to bump in right here. Yeah. So I think some of the options that we're going to we're going to give you are going to be some options when you don't have to drive. So you actually have more quality time with the kids. I personally feel like a family trip uh, from Auckland, it, in my opinion, right, it's usually best if you actually don't drive and you know you get actually plenty of time. You can just look, all, everybody look at the window at the same time. Everybody yeah. will kind of chat or even play games and everything. You will have much more fun if all of that is removed from you. You just have to follow, follow the crowd, you know, like follow the, the the group and just just follow the driver and just kind of have fun with it. They yeah. stop a lot of time along the way and everything. So I think that we're going to prioritize quite a few of those um, during this video, just because I think it will give a, a better overall experience. And also, it feels more like a holiday. Like if you put all the family in the car and you just drive somewhere, it just feel like every day. Well, if you all like kind of go go to the bus station, hop in the bus together, you know, or, or get get picked up by the bus, you know, it kind of feel like you're doing something a bit more exceptional, and, yeah. and the feeling is really different. And you realize that the price, the cost, is really not that different because gas is pretty at the moment it's okay, but gas is usually pretty expensive in New Zealand, so the the cost is not ter terribly terribly different. Yeah, and it also removes like um, the cost of if you're coming here for a trip, you don't have to rent a car, for instance. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and also um the other part of this tour is. Is going to the Waitomo Glowworm Caves, which again is a quite a short tour. I think it only lasts about half an hour to 45 minutes. And this tour is taking you into some really awesome caves with lots of limestone features like stalactites and stalagmites. And also at the end of the tour, you get into a boat and you go into this underground river where you just have this whole galaxy of glowworms above your head. It's absolutely incredible. It looks like you're in space. It's really surreal. Um, but that's also part of this tour that I'm talking about. And I think maybe you can put a link in the description yeah. below for um, the specific tour that I'm talking about where you can, where they take you from um, Auckland to uh, Hobbiton and then to the Waitomo Caves. And then they bring you back to Auckland. And then they bring you back to Auckland. <laughs> <laughs> that that's, is an important. All right, so that's your option one. You go to the Waitomo Caves and to Hobbiton. It's kind of a nice day to day trip. It would take you about uh, 11 hours total, but since you're not driving, it's going to be quite fun. Yeah. So, um, 
maybe for an option if you don't really want to drive out of Auckland, but you sort of want to get out of Auckland, um, is there's a really cool tour with um, Auckland Whale and Dolphin Safari, which departs from the Viaduct Harbour in Auckland, which is right in the city centre. Um, and basically, this is like a four and a half hour trip out on the waters surrounding Auckland, where Actually, we, it's pretty surprising, but there's actually quite a lot of whales and dolphins. There's gannets and like all sorts of different seabirds out there. So this is a really cool trip, which you can access literally from the city center of Auckland. And um, as long as the kids can handle a four hour boat trip, this is really awesome to do. Um, and yeah, you're with uh, on the boat. There's marine biologists and they're really, really um, they, they know exactly what they're doing. They know where to find the whales and the dolphins. And usually usually there's something different to see on every single um, trip that you go on. Robin and I have done this trip about three times and we've seen incredible and oh different Oh my God, stuff. there is a beautiful video on this channel where you where you see you see all those whales and kind of like catching some fish and everything. It's phenomenal. Um, definitely check out, you type Auckland Whales on our channel or aucklandwhalenzpocketguide.com and you, oh, we love that trip. It's a yeah. really fun trip. Okay, so... Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Robin. There, there. I'm going. I got excited. Okay, I really do like. I wasn't this saying thing. okay because of that. I was. I was just. I was just moving on. Um, right. So if you are, if you're not really keen on doing a tour where you're and um, someone's driving for you, if you're not really wanting to go, um, on the Auckland Horaki Gulf, that sort of boat trip, then. Alternatively, you can do your own family road trip from Auckland and a really cool place to go where there's plenty of activities for the kids and for the whole family is a town, co to uh, a town co called Topo. <laughs> That's Ooh, hard that to say. Um, this is sort of in the centre of the North Island. It's about three hour, three, three to four. No, it's more like three and a half hours drive from Auckland Central. Um, but once you get there, there's loads of different stuff that you can do. And they're quite short activities as well. So you can sort of do a lot of different things. You can definitely stay for a couple of days. That would be a really good sort of weekend trip to do as a family. So um, we'll go through some of the activities that you could be doing. One of the things that's quite affordable to do as a family is go onto a sailing boat on um, Lake Topo, which is New Zealand's largest lake. Um, for instance, with Sail Barbary, and they can take you um, across the lake to go see some giant Maori carvings on the side of the lake, which is really incredible. And um, they're about 14 uh, meters high, I think. They're pr pretty amazing. And it's quite nice to just sort of relax on the boat, sort of experience the lake, because when you get to Lake Topo, it's kind of like you always hear that it's like the largest lake in New Zealand. It's actually the crater of a super volcano, so that's pretty awesome. And one of the best ways to get on the lake as a family is on one of these sailing tours. Um, so that's one option that you can do um, uh, to do from Auckland in Topo. Also, while you're there, you can go and do the Hooker Falls Jet. Um, jet boats rides are super family friendly. There's um, not really too, I don't think there's too much of an age limit on jet boat rides. Um, every, there's, they have life jackets for all sizes yes. for kids as well. So um, yeah, you're just basically sat in a jet boat. You have like an expert jet boat driver who's going to take you on a kids thrill love ride. love that stuff. Yeah. I'm loving it. So they're going to like bl blast up to speeds of about, I think it's about 80 kilometers down the Waikato River. 80 kilometers an hour. Yeah, 80 kilometers an hour. And they're going to do 360 degree spins. And they're going to take you right up into the spray of the waterfall, which is Hooker Falls. So you get to see Hooker Falls in a whole different perspective, which is really awesome. It's a very as well. unique view of Hooker Falls. And, and also what's really cool when you get there is that you also get to I mean, you get, you don't get to, but you can go up to the car park and check your car falls from the top as well. So you get to check the falls from like two different angles. And what I would suggest is that you take the family and you stop at the car park, you guys, you go see the, the hooker falls and then you ask the kids, do you guys want to go down in the water and go check it out? And then, you know, they're probably going to get excited about it and say, okay, yeah, let's go to the jet boat, you know? So you kind of surprise them in that way. And uh, I think I think it's it's a really cool way to, 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 to do that. Yeah. All right, so that was three options so far. Yeah, I'm just going to say the final thing to do in Topo, if you've oh, got yeah, time, one more thing to do in Topo. if you've got wow. time, go to the Hooker Prawn Park. This is like the, the thing to do for families in Topo. You, they have a geothermal area, sort of um, geothermal power station near um, the prawn park, which basically they feed the warm water to make like the perfect environment for 
um, for farming prawns. And then they have big lagoons, so you can go and try and fish for prawns yourself. But they also have loads of different things like pedal boats on the lake. They have water trikes, all this sort of thing. So there's loads of different activities to do for kids. So there. that as well, we have a video about it. All the activities we talked about so far, we have video about all of them on this channel. So you are able to kind of check them uh, yourself as well. Um, but yeah, we did not catch a single prawn when we went there. So no. there you go. maybe you'll be better. If you uh, do this activity, catch some prawn, come back here and brag about it. Yeah. So option one would be to go to uh, Hobbiton and to the Glowworm Caves. Option two would be to stay in Auckland and go deck the Auckland and whales and dolphin safari which is a lot of fun option three will be to do a self-drive road trip to topo and do some of the epic activities that are to be there let's pick one last option for one people. last option um this is not too much of a drive from auckland um we, but one really cool thing to do for families is go to sheep world oh, and yeah. um, which is in walkworth that auckland central and it's only about an hour's drive to get there and side of Auckland and Sheep World is a lot of fun for families and um, it's a really cool like interactive sort of farm you get to see sheep shearing shows you get to learn all about sort of the wool industry which is usually quite amazing but of course you get to go pet the cute farm animals I mean what kid doesn't like to do that um, and also they have various different like bush tra bush nature walks they have a really cool sort of playground there as well a cafe so you can just relax and have a coffee <laughs> and and that sort of thing let the kids roam just yeah, get, get you covered. Let's the kid room. Look, yeah. have fun. Go so have fun. this is basically the place, basically for families, just just north of Auckland, um, and yeah, you, there's nothing really to complain about when you go there. It's just easy, fun, um, and there's lots of cute animals. So yeah. Here you go. So that's four options for you uh, for trips to do from Auckland. If you'd want to know more options, find out more options. I will put a link in the description below where we give you ten different family-friendly road trips from Auckland, and so yeah, you can just check those out and see which one. Uh, which one kind of floats your boat there is obviously plenty more to do from Auckland you know it's pretty central there's a ton of things to do around so I hope that you'll find something that you like within the option that we gave you right here if you don't check out the link in the description seriously you're gonna find like you know again we talked about four so we can give you six more extra and if you do find this video useful Hit the like button. It's a free way to say thank you for all the hard work. It tells YouTube that this video is useful. And if you're new here, you may want to subscribe. It's uh, it's a channel all about traveling in New Zealand. So if you want some inspiration and everything, yeah, go ahead, subscribe. We do videos like this all the time. Like literally, at the moment, we post about five videos a week. So that, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the live chat.